Radha Swamis, if to be the minimum of a Sikh, the minimum requirement to be a Sikh, yeah, you should know this because you're going to get told, oh, you're not a Sikh, you're not this. Just, if you follow these five things, you can stand up and say, I'm a Sikh. If you, now, I've been to university where some of the Gauri have got into Sikhi, yeah? like Kent, there's a Gauri Singh now, who just started watching our videos become into a Singh, right? So, it's not just for anybody, it's for anybody to come to Sikhi now. These are the five things you need to know to be a Sikh, okay? Number one, you must believe in one God. It can't be an atheist Sikh. Get it? Makes sense. Yeah, ik one God, right? Got to start with that at least. Number two, you must believe in all ten gurus. Not just, I like the first five. I'm not sure about the next five. No, all ten gurus you must accept. Number three, you must accept Guru Granth Sahib Ji as your guru. Yeah? Recently, that Hardeep Singh Kohli, that guy on TV and radio, yeah? He was on the Nihal show interviewing one of our guys. Oh, well not interviewing, but he was interviewing, you know, the guy that runs SWAT, Randeep Singh, running SWAT, doing charity back in London. He was on the show together about interfaith marriages. And our guy, Randeep Singh, he, he got asked a question by his Hardeep. He goes, Why are you not letting some Gora, who might be a better Sikh than me, might know more about Sikhi than me, get married in a Gurdwara, and, but you're allowing me to get married in a Gurdwara? So he goes to him, Randeep asks him, he said straight up, he goes, do you believe Guru Granth Sahib Ji to be your guru, your living guru? He goes, no. He goes, then you're not a Sikh then. So be very clear about this. You've got to believe in Guru Granth Sahib Ji to be a Sikh. Yeah? The fourth thing is you must believe in the writings of all ten gurus. You can't say Jab Sahib and Guru Gobi Bani is not Bani. If Guru Ji wrote it, it is Bani. Okay? So Amrit Sanjar is made with three of Guru Gobi Ji's Bani's. You can't say, oh, it's not Barney. It is Barney. Those four things. And the fifth one is, you can't have any other religion. You can't be a Hindu Sikh, you can't be a Muslim Sikh, you can't be a Christian Sikh. You've got to be a Sikh. Because in a conflict, who will you choose? If one says one, other one says the other, who do you choose to follow? If you follow Guru, you've got to follow Guru. And Pai Gurdas explains this in their Barney. Pai Gurdas is nephew of Guru Amar Dasi. They say, listen, how can you cross over the ocean with your feet in two boats. You've got your feet on two boats, you cannot cross across. you fall over. You've got to get on one boat. Can't believe in Devi Devte, Matha take to idols, and then yet believe in the Guru. If you're a Sikh, you can't do idol worship. Can't believe in bowing down to stones. Because the Guru says, no, there's no God in stones. There's no God in a stone. Now, our other Swami Sikhs is a question. What do we think about them? Do they believe Guru Granth Sahib Ji to be their Guru? No. But, so therefore, in a way, technically, they're not Sikhs. Because they follow, they follow their Guru, they get Amrit from their Guru, and they call him Satguru, and he's not in the Panj Ten Gurus, he's not Guru Granth Sahib Ji, so he's, neither, not, not, he's not a Sikh, he's, they're his Jeli. But a lot of Sikhs go to the other Swamis, and they still think they're Sikhs. They think I'm not doing something bad. How did that happen? How did a lot of people start going to follow something that is not Sikhi, but think it's okay? Because of two reasons. One, we don't tell them about Sikhi in a Gurdwara. And they don't find Shanti in a Gurdwara. They don't find about Naam in a Gurdwara. So they look somewhere else for spirituality and peace and happiness. They don't get in a Gurdwara because our Gurdwara become overly political, overly ritualized, it's all about money, you don't get taught nothing. So they think, oh, this is better for me. The second thing is, our, first is our mistake. The second thing is what they do. They're very clever. They do not make it obvious to you that you are leaving Sikhi and start following them. Even the Christians in India follow the same tactic. The Christians will say, Satguru Isa. They, use, they don't say Prophet, they don't say Lord. They say, Satguru Isa. They say, keep your turban, keep your beard, keep your kara. In the Gurdwara, they give out what, in, in their church, they give out langar. And they sing with a tolki and shani. And they sing songs in Punjabi. So the Sikh that goes there, he goes, this is just like home. Tolki, shani, langar, yeah, pagga, 
I haven't left the key. I'm still in the key. The poor lepa, they say, they don't know what they're doing. So they get them in and they slowly start turning them around. They're not obvious about it. They don't say, yo, this is our faith. That's their faith. To come here, this is what you must do. They won't do that. They'll say, oh no, it's okay. Baba Nanak is our guru. Baba, we love Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. Let me quote you some bani. We read Japji Sahib every day. No problem. Come in, come in, come in. They go, these are good people. They tell us about Guru Nanak Dev Ji They tell us what the meaning of bani is. They're clever. Yeah? They won't tell you that you're not following Sikhi. They'll tell you you are following Sikhi. But you're following them. Their version. Not the Guru's version. They'll say, oh, you know, we're not the first five Gurus. The rest of them, you know, there's no need to pick up weapons. Just be Shanti, huh? Oh, yeah, when they come around raping you and killing you, just be Shanti then. You're doubting Guru Gobind Singh Ji? You know more than Guru Gobind Singh Ji, do you? And Guru Sahib says, Chu kar azama, heel te dar guzast, halal as burdan, basham shir dust. That when all else has failed, it's righteous to pick up the sword. Are they wrong? Of course not. So these people, they're very clever. So this is the reason why people join other Swamis. They, don't, they get sucked in. So what do we think about them? The only way to conquer that, that problem is very simple. How would you... Okay, you guys are all bright people. How would you solve that problem? Give me two solutions. I gave you the problem, how it happens. How do we solve it? More parchar of Sikhi and Gurdwari. Secondly... Let people know what they're doing when they're choosing to be Radha Swami. That's it. Just tell them, you know, you're leaving Guruji. Because we say, Sabde Vard Samrat Gurudev, Sab Sukhpai Tiski Sev. You're leaving the Guru. If you want to do that, if your Guru is more powerful than Guru Granth Sahib Ji, go ahead. If your Guru is more powerful than Guru Gobind Singh Ji, go ahead. But if you think, hold on, there's no one more powerful than Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Guru Nandaji Maharaj, stay in Sikhi. Don't go there. We've got to give them a better alternative. At the moment, our Gurdwari are not a very good alternative. Their place, they're friendly. You walk in, they shake your hand. Hello, welcome, come in, sit down, battle. What problems have you got? Let me help you out. Oh, you've got some loan problems. You've got this, you've got that problem. No problem, I'll give it to you. Christians, they give people medicine. They give people good jobs. They give people... They do everything they can to get you to convert. But you must convert. They don't do Nishkam Seva. Everything has got strings attached. And the Bajari people, they end up converting. So give them a better solution. Don't just sit there moaning at them and say, Oh, it's all your fault, you're stupid, you're evil people, you left your Guru. Give them something better. Show them what Sikhi really is in the Gurdwara. In Sunday, in Park Avenue Gurdwara, in Southall, every Sunday for the last three years, we're reading Katha and Kirtan of Gurbani. Yeah? Then a Q&A afterwards. So many people start coming now. Before, when I first started, there was like 20, 30 people. Now it's like 200 people every Sunday come. 200. And it's not just young people, old people as well. Then they will hang out afterwards, Sangat, they have langar together, they make friends. Then they come for the Q&A, any questions, whatever, politics. We discuss everything. And holy, holy, people come into that, they start getting sikhi, and you see they start keeping their case, start getting involved in seva. It's not that hard to get people into sikhi. It's not that hard. Sikhi is so beautiful, people will start following it. Just we don't tell it properly, innit? We just undersell a beautiful product. And that's our fault. Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru.